Sorry? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've just, uh, just bought it in Horton. Five pound. I'm leaving. I've got a job in Croydon. Oh, sorry to see you go. Been promoted from deliveries to sales. Only it's in London and, well, fresh start and all that, eh? Oh. And uh, I have Amelia to look after, so I guess I better step up. <laughs> Hence the extra stuff. Amelia's going with you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what she wants. Oh, what about Dan and Kerry? Well, they're fine, considering. It's insane. Daz is going to be working all hours. How are you going to take care of yourself? I oh, will be OK. You shouldn't have to be just OK. You're a kid. And what am I going to tell Kyle when he gets him from school? You're his big sister. How's he going to feel like you're leaving him? No, this is right for me. How is this right? Are you making Daz go? No, and I need to be somewhere else. Uh, at school, it's all, oh, oh, there's that weirdo who got catfished. I've got no friends there. That's not true. Why do you think I'm always home for lunch? That's not going to change by leaving. You can still make other friends here. No, it'll be easier to make friends there. I could stop you from going. What? Well, whatever he says, Daz. I'm your dad, your legal guardian. I could go to social services. Oh, you'd really keep me a prisoner here. Amelia, I'm not... <sighs> oh, go on. And I'll never speak to you ever again. I'll see how much you want me around then. I can't let her leave, Dan. I know, but that's what we're left with. Yeah? So when he's gone, she stamps her feet and sulks a bit. That's kids, isn't it? Yeah. This is the kid who ran away and disappeared for months on end. I can't go through that again. At least this way, I know where she is. So you wouldn't risk what happened with me and Amy? Cos I knew where she was as well for a while. And then she was gone. Um, not at work? Yeah, I couldn't really face it. Pretended I was working at home this afternoon. That governor's report. Yeah, I can see the table's loaded down with paperwork. Yeah, well, that's what pretend means. <laughs> Can't really concentrate on anything right now. I know you're down about this, Jesse, but you've got to stop beating yourself up. You lied to protect your son. Yeah, but then in the process, I've lost the other one. What was the choice? Billy could have gone back inside for years. Just give it time. Ellis will come round. Surprise, surprise. No answer. Could murder Robert. Hmm. Join the queue. You're not in my best books either. I told you, I'm, I'm sorry. For what exactly? For believing my brother when he started messing with your head or for calling the police on yours? Pretty much both, actually. It's a problem with Robbie. He's good at this kind of thing. Hmm. Except he's not. Billy's still in the village, so Robert's lost. He just hasn't lost like I have. Mainly because I'm homeless. By choice. I can hardly go back to Mum's, can I? You're not homeless. You can stay here. At least until you get something sorted. Thank you. And in the meantime, I need to make Robert see that he can't keep doing stuff like this. It's people's lives that he's messing with. So I've got us a place to stay. Great. Anyway, I'm really I've up. just got to sort out a school for Amelia next. Hi! Carry. Just so you know. I'll be six feet under before I let Amelia go with you. Oh, so this is them being fine with it, is it? How could we possibly be fine with it? You're making me leave. She wants to stay with me. What am I supposed to do? Saying no would be favourite. And then what? She'll end up hating me. She'll hate both of you. What happens after that? Maybe she runs away again. And maybe this time we don't find oh, her. You really want to get into that, do you? Because I think we all know why she ran off in the first place. All right, that's enough. Shouting at each other really isn't helping. What we have here is a conflict. And the best way to resolve a conflict is through talking. So that's what we're going to do. So, um, Benton and Darwin Homes. They're the company building this uh, housing development we're investing in, right? Yeah, sure. And um, what about them? I think it's time I saw something of our investment, don't you? Well, the clue's in the word development, Graham. There's nothing to see until the builders move in. There are plans, surely. Plans? 
Yeah, yeah, you know those paper things that show the layout of buildings? Yeah, I know what plans are. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't sleep too well. Oh, no worries. Um, if we get something to me by the end of play. <sighs> me and you need to have a serious chat. You think ignoring my phone calls is going to make me evaporate? Is there any chance we can do this another time? No, Robert. We're going to talk about it now, and I don't care who hears. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Billy didn't get charged, so he's staying with his mum. What? Yeah. Jesse lied for him, so that's one thing you didn't count on. What's going on here? Oh, it's him. Up to his old tricks again, playing mind games so he can get his own way. Well? I needed to get Billy out of the village. I was doing it for you. Him being here was going to send you over the edge. Well, I didn't ask you to. Yeah, but you were struggling. You said it yourself. And I could see you were starting to be like a, a recluse. And it wasn't going to get any better, so I just wanted to... Oh, as usual, it's about you getting what you wanted. So you used Ellis. And me, actually. And now, Ellis hasn't got anywhere to live. So what did you do? And I want specifics. Look, something's come up. No, Robert, I want to sort this out. Yeah, and we will, but right now I need to be somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Run away like you always do. So Alice is almost because of him? You better fill me in. One of the things we learn in conflict resolution is that name-calling is not a productive way forward. He's trying to take Amelia away. Forgive us if I don't buy him a nice bun. I keep trying to tell you this is her call. Yeah, but you're not standing in her way, though. Because it's for the best. You're separating her from me and Dan. She wants to get away. I mean, that's what she said. I've been a screw up ever since I got here. Who's going off together? Well, maybe it's best for both of us. That's very honest of you, Darren. Well, it's a flaming first if it is. I'll look after her, mate. I promise you. I'll do anything I can to make sure she's safe and she's happy. All right. What? Amelia can go with you, as long as she gets in contact every day. Serious? Are you out of your mind? Well, if I don't let her go, it'll just make matters worse. I don't have much in the way of choice, do I? Well, what's the big emergency? Graham wants to see everything to do with Benton and Darwin Homes. Remember that? Our new and above all completely made up housing development? By everything, you mean. Plans of houses. You know, the sort of stuff you have when you're building a housing estate. Hey, okay, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Robert. He wants to look at it today. Right, well, I'll sort it, right? I'll cobble something together on the computer. It can't be that hard. I just don't understand why now he's ignored the whole thing for ages. That pretty much confirms it. I still don't understand why it's taken you so long to do anything about it. Well, the plan was just to hang out to dry, but now I know Robert's involved. I've got a much more profitable idea. You can't just sit and watch telly all day. The plan is nearly full. That stuff won't watch itself. Dawn, you need to get out there and... Oh, look, I know this is coming from a good place. But let's face facts, no one round here is going to give me a job. It's just a matter of confidence. It's a matter of being realistic. I know what you mean. Rodney only has to have a day off and I'm snowed under. Oh, well, staff in the cafe, staff in the factories, they're the same. Brenda, you've got a lot of orders to fill and people going off sick. Mm. Oh. Or being given family time. Long and the short of it is, we could do with some extra hands on deck. You see, they're still looking for someone. Yeah, someone else. They've already got Billy working for them, and he's been in prison. Oh, right, so they're into social work, are they, now? I come along and they say, why not? Ex-junkie prostitute, sure, more the merrier. Look, this has been a nice idea, but I, I've got to get off. And do what? I don't know. Whatever. You sure this is what you want? Right. OK, all right, well, uh, we've been talking and, um, you know, maybe I, maybe we were wrong to stand in your way. So, um, me and Kerry have decided, OK, you can, you can go with us. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. 
but you have to call me every day, right? And if for one second you want to come back, just let me know when I'll be there. Goes without saying I'm going to miss you. I miss you too. You know that, right? Of course we do. We're going tomorrow, so why don't you and me go for a little walk, talk about what you want to take in that. Uh, I've seen a few, yeah. At least we'll get the evening together. Oh, uh... I can't believe this. Carrie, please. You're letting her leave with that walking train wreck? For the end time! We've been through all the pros and cons. This is all I can think of. <sighs> Just back off for five minutes, yeah? Can't cope with you going on at me. Oh. Ah, nice one. Look, um, I've been thinking about this Billy situation. Ah. Dangerous pastime thinking. Have you come up with anything profound? Well, only that me and you both want him gone. Robert tried to organise that himself, but he was. Well, let's just say he did it in a stupid way. And it didn't happen, so we both lost out. I reckon the university's trying to tell us something. Mate, I ain't got a roof over me head. How have you lost out? Because right now I could murder my husband. Mm. Yeah, well, his sister feels the same. Anyway, the point being, I think I can help you with your problem. How do you fancy moving in next door? The place is empty since your mum moved out. You know, Robert won't like it. Well, Robert will have to lump it, won't he? I reckon the university needs to tell him something. Say that. What it does is I don't care. I know you're mad about this. Mad? Mad doesn't even live in the same country. <laughs> different planet, different flaming universe. I get it. Like poison ever since he got here. And you need to be her dad and stop this. I am being a dad. Well, how come you're letting him take her then? I'm not. At least I hope I'm not. It's not what you said half an hour ago. Yeah, but we can't force her to stay, can we? She'll kick against us, you know what she's like. She probably hates us. Might even run off again. Well, yeah. So? Well, she's 12 years old, isn't she? Whatever we tell her to do, she'll do the exact opposite. So I'm just hoping and praying that if we say she can go, she'll want to stay. Are you out of your tree? You're going to risk all of this on reverse psychology? Well, if it don't work, we lose either way, don't we? You want me to be that? Well, I'm the parent round here, not you. So just back me up for once, yeah? I'm bushed. That phone never stopped ringing today. Well, he hasn't been a week in Barbados for me either. Uh, pint and uh, orange juice, please, Mark. I'm serious, Jay. How will we fill those orders? We'll manage. We need more staff. Stop penny pinching and advertise a position. Mm. Hey, where are you going? Just to the ladies. OK. What was that? She still keeps getting me to ask him for a job. I thought she was going to do it for me. Why haven't you asked him? I mean... Because <sighs> they turned me down. Why would it? My CV's badly worded. They know about me, don't they? Look, you can't expect people to have faith in you if you don't have faith in yourself. I heard you were understaffed and I'm kind of looking for a job. Oh, um... I, I'm really keen and I'd work really hard. When can you start? Dad, tomorrow. You're hard. <laughs> it'd be on a trial basis and it'd be short term. I mean, we can't guarantee we'd have anything in a few months. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Stop it. Hey. I'm just here to get the rest of my stuff. I'm, um, I'm moving into your old flat. OK. What, you thought I'd come back, or...? Well, you can't blame me for hoping. <laughs> but I am sorry, OK, for lying. I just couldn't let Billy... I know, I know, and if I hadn't wound him up, then, um, then he wouldn't have done it, so, look, I'm sorry too. It's Billy that you should be apologising to. I won't change anything, Mum. 
It would for me. At least it'd be one step closer to you two, if, if, if not getting on, at least existing in the same space. Come on, Mum. Look at what's happened. It just took one person whispering in my ear for me to report him. Look, he could have gone back down for years. And it only took a few words from me for him to punch me. Yeah, but... And then, and then it ended with you, of all people, lying to the police for him. Me and him need to stay away from each other. So where do we go from here? Well, as far as I'm concerned, this whole war with Billy's over. I'm gonna be polite, all right? I might even say hello when I see him on the street, but you cannot expect us ever to be friends, Mum. It's just the way it has to be. You're gonna love me. Uh, somehow doubt that. Why? Ta-da! Housing development plans. Where'd you get these? They're in the bottom of the filing cabinet. I've been trying to get Jimmy to have a clear out for ages. I'm glad I didn't know. You know, you're right. I could get quite fond of you. Well, this works, so don't balls it up. Everything sorted? Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, heading into Leeds tomorrow evening, and we'll get a train from there. I've uh, phoned a school in Croydon, and I've... Uh... Booked a meeting about Amelia starting next week, so I'll uh, give you the details. Uh. Well, thank you. Right. <laughs> Guess I'd better go and uh, start my packing. Oh, yeah, me too. Carrie will give you an with that, won't we? Oh, yeah, of course. Look, darling, uh, something I really want you to have. Can I? So. This always kept me safe. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I love it. That was a nice gesture. Well, it wasn't really a gesture, was it? It's about the only thing that I can do to protect her. Cos you're the parent round here, nothing I do matters. Look, Kerry, Harry. No, I've been here before, remember? I told you. When Amy left, she stayed gone. So you better know what you're doing. You're kidding me? No. After everything that's happened, Ellis is moving in next door. Well, does he even want to? Yeah, because I'm giving him mates rates. He needs somewhere to live, thanks to you. Look, I did a bad thing, I get it. Just promise me you'll never do anything like that again. I was trying to help. You want to help, Robert? Don't help. I mean it, promise me. All right, I promise. But what about you? I mean, Billy's still here. <sighs> yes, I know, I'll just, I'll have to deal with it, won't I? What, by avoiding him? By shutting yourself away? I don't know, Robert, by forcing myself up, getting myself counselling if I have to, I'm just going to accept it. I don't want you fighting my battles anymore, right? Yeah, OK, I promise. And... I'm sorry. Whatever you need, all right? So, what was your emergency? Oh, Nicola. It's, it's all sorted now, anyway. Come tomorrow, we're gonna have nothing to worry about, least of all, Billy. The surrogacy money's almost in the bag. We're gonna be quids in. Thanks. Glad you've got it all in hand. <laughs> it's my job. Anyway, as it's late, I'll let you look at those in your own time. Oh, uh, just one thing. The name of this estate, King's River Development. It's just a working title. Hmm. Funny, though, because I saw old files about uh, King's River Development here. Yeah. And there was nothing there relating to a Benton and Darwin company. Seem to remember they were from around 2006 when this place was owned by a one Mr. Tom King. Any relation? If memory serves, there was some sort of accident, but that's, uh, that's beside the point. The point is, these date back to at least 10 years. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's because these were reworked from that original proposal. Oh, I don't think so, Nicola. You see, I know. Sorry. 
about the money you've stolen from the company, there is no housing development. You've been working with Robin, using stolen money to buy the haulage company from underneath me and all sorts of other little goodies, I imagine, considering how much is missing. You've committed fraud, and that's a hefty prison sentence. If I call the police. Oh, God. What I need you to do now is admit it. But look, I did, I did, I mean, I, I didn't. That's if you want to avoid being locked up until Angelica hits adolescence. It wasn't my idea, I swear. I know. You know I know. And Robert doesn't. So. What are we going to do about it? Hmm? Well, Sam continues to push her luck, but is it about to run out as she attempts her biggest scam yet in new drama cleaning up tonight at nine? And Crime and Punishment returns with one of the most disturbing cases in British criminal history, Fred and Rose West. The real story with Trevor McDonald tomorrow night at 9. Coronation Street is on the way next. <laughs>